Fair boy. Morning, Arthur. Fire's good and hot, Mr. Morgan. Morning. Is the trail because it means I morning, love, Arthur. So you don't have to. That's not hey, right, is it? I, guess I didn't tell right Dutch right about the little right. diversion on our supply oh. run. Why not? I'll fight any time and any place. Yeah, and that's the problem. Good morning. Anyway, I won't disturb you. Okay, Arthur. Mary Beth. Morning there, Arthur. I just woke up and it's hell already. Susan! Go too close to the water here, Jack. I won't, Uncle Arthur. Good boy. Yes, Miss O'Shea. Ah, call me Molly, would you? <sighs> Arthur, how is Dutch? I mean, how does he seem to you? I'm about the same as usual, I guess. I... I really love him, you know. But if he... Like he always says, loyalty is everything, so... Arthur! Excuse me, Miss O'Shea. What you want? I bring a gift. The great gift of information. So you got some tip-off, so now I can yeah. risk my neck and make you some money while you lounge around. You know, Arthur, bitterness, it, it works on the inside as well as on your sour face. If you say so, <laughs> you could go find some other fool to run your errands. Bill, come on over here. Will you be my other fool? You too, Charles. What are you? Talking about. Arthur's above a little stick up I heard about. No, I'm not. <laughs> you just said hey, I'll do it. As long as you ride with us. <laughs> well, I got a serious medical condition. <laughs> yes, you are a compulsive liar. Now, no need to be like that. Charles, have I ever lied to you? I hardly know you. Exactly. Now you boys should do this. It, it's easy, and I'll only take a small commission for my information. But it's now or never. Then it's never. Oh, God help me. Fine, I'll do it. <laughs> well, what is it? It's a supply wagon carrying payroll, but very briefly unguarded, apparently. As it passes through a crossroads near here where there's an old ruined church before it connects with the rest of the wagon train. Very easy picking. As long as we get paid or you get shot, I'm happy. You are a sick man, Arthur Morgan. A very sick man indeed. Come on, then, you miserable bastards. How do you get wind of this, old man? We only been down here all for five minutes. Wow, you boys been off. We gotta get there, come on! Stop 
riding off on us, will you? Now, I was saying... <laughs> While you boys been off fishing or playing lawman or whatever the hell you've been doing, I've been getting down to business. <laughs> Finding the nearest grog house. Hey, you don't want in on this, Williamson. That's fine by me. Do us all a favor. Head home. Just give it a rest, you two. Just have a little faith for once, will you? I've been scoping jobs like this since you fellers were knee-high to a grasshopper. Once a decade, maybe. So what is your scope here, exactly? Well, I told you. There's a wagon with a lockbox passes through every week. Okay, hold up here. We should cover our faces. Now, they'll be passing through the crossroads up ahead. When? So Sakes. I should be due any time now. Let's keep this quiet and clean. Nobody needs to die here. There! You see, gentlemen? <laughs> Just like clockwork. <laughs> yeah! Stop the wagon! I said, stop the damn wagon! Whoa! Don't try anything stupid! And we won't do anything unkind. You know, boys, I, I don't... I don't want to get shot. But this is a mistake. I work for Cornwall Kerosene and Tar. <sighs> Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Oh, great. So, you know him? <laughs> Who doesn't? I hear he's rich enough to share the wealth around and not miss it too much. Oh, he'll miss it. Okay. Why don't you check out around the back? Arthur, help me out here. Are you gonna give me a hand here? Check the boxes at the back, Arthur. Be a lot quicker if someone helped me. Uh, let's see what's inside. <clears throat> okay, we're looking good. Must be nearly a thousand here. Shit! Hey! Think I see something! Oh, great. Let's go! Arthur, let's go! Yeah! There's a whole lot of them back there. Right, fellas, come on. Well, nice going, Uncle. Most guarded wagon in goddamn history. Get out of here! 
Get out of here. Go on. I'll see you later. All right. Just get out of sight. Stay until dark, and then we'll sneak out of here. Charles, you keep watch for now. Sure. Well, we, uh, get some rest. Ugh. Try and get out of here. Hey, shit! Absolutely. Well, shut up, old man. Well, look, I was just trying to. Shut up. There's a light over by the house. Damn. I ain't in there. Let's just keep this calm. See what happens. Is this your place? Kinda. Uh, and you didn't hear nothing? I, 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 why don't you just tell me, partner, what you heard? Go ahead, go ahead. Tell me what you heard. I don't... Uh, maybe I, I heard some noises out by the barn a while ago. It ain't me. It better not be. All right. Coop forth. Lo, go check out the, the barn. Uh, sir... <clears throat> Place looks deserted enough. Sure. You head inside. I'll go around the back. Place looks empty to me. Now, the old guy up there is full of crap. I don't think they're here. Don't see any horses. Come on, let's head back. Boss! Place is empty!
Mr. Cornwall ain't going Bastard! Get the hell off me! You better not disappoint me, partner! Made a meal out of that, didn't you? This is a young man's game. Uh-oh. Really, those boys ain't as quiet as us? Guess we should go give them a hand. a meal out of that, didn't you? Uh, this is a young man's game. Uh oh Really, those boys ain't as quiet as us. Guess we should go give them a hand. Shit! We just won't. Is that all you 
Bell still alive? Yeah, just about. Yeah, I'll deal with you later. We got some money, didn't we? Sure, but now we got Cornwall on our backs. It was an yeah. honest mistake. Hey, leave it. Go on, get out of here. Every man split up. Go on, run, quick. Good luck, Johnson. Stay quiet and move. Time to go, boy. Yeah. Okay there.
Easy now. It's my life. It's my life. <laughs> A drink. <laughs> God damn life. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I I I drink to forget. Hey there. Then, I'm uh, singing. I uh, I wake. Oh hey there. Why, why don't you join me and have a seat over here by by the fire? Oh. By the fire. I'm carrying around. You won't even believe. But if I had a little whiskey to loosen up my tongue a little, I might I might tell you. Here. that I'd be drinking the devil's brew. I'll be seeing him soon enough. You're, you're a place called Four Rigs? South of Strawberry. <sighs> Captain, Indians penned in their lock cattle. I ain't know what's worse. Seeing the ones we killed or watching the other ones die. The slow way. <sighs> well, they pay well. Them government boys. But the money don't last long. Uh -uh. It's, it's what you did. Sticks around. And I know the feeling. Uh, I was a, a young man then, but I still see them faces clear as yesterday. I do. I might risk the last minute feeling very sleepy all of a sudden.
Strong one, boy. <laughs> yeah, you all right there, boy? Let's go, boy.
Yep. Yep. Ooh, really hope that blood is from an animal. Easy, easy. This shit again? This place, I swear. Howdy. Get out of here. It's Arthur! Hope you've been good out there. Can I talk to you for a minute? Sure. It's about Dutch. Good morning. <sighs> morning, Miss. Arthur. See, I love him, and I know he loves me, but... You're a sweet girl. But you don't strike me as an idiot. I... Dutch don't love you. Not in the way you want to be loved. No! Just don't make a fool of yourself. No, it's not like that. Morning. I ain't one to sugarcoat things, my dear. Hey, Jack. It is like that. Take care of yourself. You don't understand. Unfortunately, I do. Well, 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 you don't. Okay. Ha. Huh. You told her. No, stop nosing around. She's losing it, that girl. I'm gonna go out with you, I'm gonna have to look my best, so... Can I borrow $10? Can I borrow $2? I'm good for it. Oh, money. Uh oh You are a man. Arthur! Yes, kid. You got a lot on? Ah, uh, just hunting for all this hillbilly gold that Dutch and Hosea seem to think is... Out there, just waiting to be stolen. <laughs> Why? I got something. Could be good. Yeah? Yeah, I was in Rhodes talking to some of the colored folk. They said there's a gang of fools holed up in the swamps east of here who think their war ain't never ended. The Civil War? Yeah, apparently it's still raging in these fools' minds 30 years later. Okay. That ain't my point. These ignorant fools are weapon dealers. And in their dealings, sometimes sit on a decent pile of cash. Yeah, been selling weapons to Cuba and South America for years. Anyway, the old boy I was talking to reckoned there might be a bunch of cash just sitting around. And failing that, maybe a nice stash of weapons. With just a bunch of crazies, Gardner? Exactly. Well, worth taking a look at least, isn't it? That was my thinking. Said it was at some place called Shady Bear, deep in the woods. Okay. All right then, let's go rob some fools.
when you are. Okay there, boy. Hey, boy. Come on. It's this way. On me. Ciao. I might have met these crazies before. You've been drinking again? No. Well, yes, but no, that's not how I might have met them. I think some of them harangued me and Sadie when we were coming back with supplies. Mrs. Adler? Yeah. And Mrs. Adler did just fine. More than fine, actually. She's terrifying. But I got a notion these fellers is one and the same. Yeah, we won't find no shortage of angry Pecklewood idiots in the state of Lamorne. That's for sure. Is it really that different in this state? We haven't come far. It seems like it is. These boys got a manner about them, but I haven't necessarily noticed. All respect, Mr. Morgan. You wouldn't notice. Might call you a nigger lover. They see us riding like this. But most of it is a, a glance or a word. And after that, a visit in the night. Well, out west is... Out west is out west. And you're all who you are. Right? Decent folks. But some places down here, they judge differently. Well, I don't know. Guess it can't be so easy for you, Lenny. I'm sorry you're caught up in this. Well... I guess their gold still shiny, and their guns still shoot. <laughs> so I'm game for robbing any and every one of these bastards for all they got. <laughs> okay then. Plus, it beats being lynched back in Blackwater with all of you by my side. I guess it does. like we're close. It's a run-down old plantation house down in the bayou somewhere. Let's take it slow. Be cautious. If, like you say, these crazies are sitting on weapons, we're gonna want to strategize a little before getting shot at. <laughs> of course. They said find the old battlefield and keep on going. Yeah, I've been here before. I can see the wrecked old Civil War weaponry. Where are the wrecked old Civil War holdouts? See that church up ahead? They're supposed to use it as an outpost. Heard they got men going between here and the big house all day. Okay. Look at this field. <laughs> Imagine getting caught up in a fight like this. Yeah, I don't care to. Hold those reins in. Let's just take a look around the place. I hear you. Uh, it doesn't look like anyone's here. We don't know that for sure. Let's have us a nosy. Hear that? Someone's on the track. See where he's going. You're on me now. Right behind you. Let's keep our distance. Just two fellers out on the road. Those crates in the back. They look like explosives to you? Could be. Worth follow at least.
I think I see something. End of the avenue, between the trees. Might be it. Might be. Keep it steady. Hey, big plantation house. <laughs> Must be Shady Bear. I reckon we can leave our mounts up there, off the trail. Good enough to me. Come on. We can get a view on them from that wall up there. Bring your sighted rifle, okay? I'll take the other side. You get in cover there. What you see through your scope? Just a moment. When you've had a look, tell me what to do. I know dynamite crates when I see them. You got something, right? Oh, we got something. We can hit them head on, fight them honest. Or you could go down there acting friendly. Friendly? With these folks? Just draw them into one spot. Then I'll start shooting. Well, that might be the dumbest idea I've ever heard. But hey, I'm always up for a performance. You gonna make a call? So, what are we doing? Just give the word. You're going in, kid. Give them both barrels a charm. Wouldn't try anything less. Uh, today is a fine and fabulous day. As all days, and so may it be. Praise be, my people. What do you want? Praise be, my people. Praise be. <laughs> now, I come in peace to discuss the merit <laughs> of glory and interest you in eternity. <laughs> Praise be, my Just people. Just a moment be. longer. Uh, are you? Uh, have you? Will you be saved, my brother? Praise be. Huh? <laughs> praise be! I want you out of here now, boy. Hey, praise be, my people. Praise be. I said, get out of here. Uh, praise be. Or uh, uh, a great miracle shall strike you down, my family. Get out of here, you darky! I said, a miracle shall strike you down. Get out of here, you nigger piece of shit. Praise be, 